Welcome back, citizens of the future. Citizen of the future here, and it's been a little while since I recorded a video, but do I got something special? Confirmation of the digital trade transformation that's currently happening across the world while mainstream media sleeps. In this video, I break down a very important document that everyone should see. Let's dive. I'm bringing you guys a document, a game-changing document that's cool just to show the perspective of everything that I've been speaking about the last couple of years and what's been going on is this digital revolution. This is a, a study 2023 that was just released by Broadridge. The digital transformation enters a new phase and here's what comes next. And I've spoken about this, you know, we're resetting the global economy, pieces to the technology revolution, aka the fourth industrial revolution, the technology empowering the 4IR. IOT, the Internet of Value, we got DLT, we got paperless trade, we got uh, AI, machine learning. And here's this, Singapore seeks to transform industries as world enters new era of global trade. You know, this is a once in a lifetime, how I say this, you know, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity that we are understanding of a, a new industry before it goes mainstream. And this is what I'm gonna. This is where I'm breaking down. So let's go through this document really quick, just because I'm getting ready for bed and I want to show it to you guys about this study. The digital transformation is still at the top of the C-suite agenda, but it's entering a new phase driven by more powerful technology. the The third annual Broadridge Digital Transformation and Next Gen Technology Study is, explores the investment decisions and practical realities financial services firms race during their transformation. This year, we surveyed 500 C-level executives and direct reports across the buy side and sell side from 18 countries to understand where they stand today and what they expect in 2023 and beyond. Holy shit. The digital revolution is now mainstream. Klaus Schwab, World Economic Forum founder and the executive chairman, first envisioned how artificial intelligence could disrupt business and society well before AI began to reach maturity. His book, The Fourth Industrial Revolution, anticipates the way technology could improve efficiency and productivity. Today, the revolution is mainstream. Financial service firms have embraced digital transformation like never before. Wide-scale adoption of new, more powerful technology is next. Many are aware of the need to reinvent themselves and quickly meet these opportunities and threats. So there's this transformation where, where businesses that are outdated, paper-based, and uh, stuck on these antiquated, outdated systems like SWIFT and the financial system are dying. The fees have been sucking from us for many, many generations, enriching the 1%. And now the technology has finally skyrocketed to this new phase, this new era. So you guys can just pause, take a read at it, but I'm just going to go through and just read quickly uh, some of the things that I found. So here, transformation is lifting off. 80% of respondents are optimistic about the future, about uh, despite significant work ahead. So, you know, some are uh, scared to move because they don't like new things. They don't like change. They want, they like whoever's profiting from the system now, but a lot of people are shifting because there are these cost savings. There are these instant settlement uh, use cases of DLT. <clears throat> the role and impact of next-gen technologies. We're on the cusp of a new chapter in digital transformation driven by more powerful technologies. However, in a challenging economic environment, it can be difficult to justify spending on innovation while trying to judge the demands of day-to-day -day operations. But as next-gen technologies mature, firms are reporting improvements in customer acquisition and retention, cost efficiencies, and faster time to market from their use, creating a more measurable business case for investment. So next-gen tech comes from comes of age. Data analytics, AI, cloud computing, blockchain, and DLT now deliver tangible ROI. Blockchain and distributed ledger technology are now creating cost savings and creating business value. In the long term, we'll see stronger use cases for decentralized finance, 
firms need to plan for this transition. The businesses need to plan for this transition because they're going to automate, innovate, and create this instant flow of data and settlement. Not none of this 5 to 14 day settlement where it costs $50 for a transaction. These essential tools are now more visible than ever with a clear business case for new investment. Crazy. Now, let's see. This is just about mind the investment gap, overcoming hurdles to digitalization. Still long ways to go. This isn't just like a one-year get-rich scheme. We're, this digitalization transformation is a 10-year spectrum plus. Um, because all the businesses in the world, they need to adopt standards. They need to incorporate the standards all across their enterprise chain. And it's not a quick transition. So reinvention for a digital world won't come easy. Uh, and this is especially for incumbents with established systems and procedures. More than 40% of respondents say they're held back by inflexible legacy systems. More than a third of firms lack funds for digital transformation and economic headwinds aren't helping. The same percentage struggle to balance innovation with day-to-day -day tasks. And this is driven in part by a shortage of talent and skills needed to advance. So the banking system, there's, they're built on SWIFT, which was developed in the 1970s. And I think their last one upgrade was in the 1990s for the major infrastructure. Now we're finally seeing ISO 222, the messaging standard, where uh, they've incorporated a standardized messaging format um, for the settlement of these messages. So now you can attach PDFs, you can attach more information, and the data is organized when you're moving in between banks. So we asked the executives what they'd do to change if they had a magic wand to accelerate transformations. Leaders say they would dramatically or dramatically expand the use of AI across the enterprise and centralize data across the firm. The top choice for all others is replacing legacy systems with modern cloud platforms, indicating the gap in process between the firms leading the way and those lagging behind. Because if it's all accessible by a cloud, you don't need that old ancient infrastructure. Now, what's next in the tech transformation? More nascent technologies. <clears throat> the study is an opportunity to understand uh, what's on the radar for the most exceptional leaders in the financial services. On average, our respondents' firms control estimated assets of a $121 billion. Four or five respondents are from traditional finance service companies, and the results speak to market-wide dynamics. Senior executives understand and they must grapple with ad adapting to near-term change while trying to anticipate how technology will transform the industry's future. We ask executives how technology will change industry dynamics in the longer term and what they're doing to prepare and which of the newer emerging technologies such as quantum computing and metaverse they're investing in for the future. And then it says study shows DLT will become the core of the financial markets infrastructure. No way. Holy shit. We've been talking about this for two, three years, about how it's going to transform banking, and all the time the mainstream media has been gaslighting, saying cryptos for garbage. Crypt sure, 99% of the tokens are garbage, but what about the tokens with real world utility. Those ones are what they're talking about here. XRP, XDC, XLM, Quant, uh, the list goes on. Blockchain DLT could change the value proposition of firms that currently play a central role in financial services. They'll have to reconsider where they fit in a world of tokenization and decentralized finance. 60% of respondents agreed that in 10 years blockchain and DLT will become the core of financial markets infrastructure. Holy shit. Co-piloting the digital transformation. So that's basically the sum of this. I think it's uh, great to see how much they actually uh, the total assets of companies in the sample range from $1 billion to over $250 billion.
That's crazy. And here we go. Citizens. I've had this out there for a long time, this thread, and there's so many different things, so many different rabbit holes in this thread of threads. I suggest you take a look and you just reference to see, the, like I know I speak about hierarchy, so I try and dig and report on the highest ranking information to spread that awareness because the mainstream media is not showing us that. It's not showing us the true connections that we're in this new era. You know, they focus on we're in this war, we're in this havoc, this uh, bullshit. But in reality, we're in a once in a lifetime that if you're investing before the mainstream hype cycle starts, you're going to change generations, not just your life, generations if you do it right. So that's, that's what I say. You know, mapping trade tech, trade in the fourth industrial revolution. This was from World Economic Forum. In 2020 and now here's me creating maps for you guys create showing you the digital data and how it connects whether it's ETH gate whether it's paperless trade whether it's XRP connections I'm giving you guys breadcrumbs so you can find the whole loaf you can get a visual of the whole loaf and that's my mission is to take my research and create a digestible format so you guys can participate in this because it's us 99% versus the 1% that have been manipulating us with that magical television box. The ones that created the Federal Reserve System. The ones that own the banking system that, that control us and give us the breadcrumbs. I'm trying to, to break that curve by shedding the light on what they don't want the, shed, the light to be shed on. So lots of keywords, lots of data, lots of things to get you guys excited to see... Trade finance and the supply chain. Here's some, I made this graph to show you guys the wires connect between the regulated ecosystems. The standard setting bodies, these trade organizations are finding ways to move data between one network to another. So if your crypto doesn't meet these regulations and standards, it won't survive in the long term. So dedicate the, Dedicate the time to learning the regulated stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video to see that the dead the digital revolution, the digital transformation is real. And look at this, October 8, 2022. The digital transformation of global supply chains is the next big thing. And this was from the Asian Development Bank Institute talking about the digital revolution. There, there's a YouTube video that I recorded on it. A look into digitalization, the global megatrend reshaping industries. I created this over a year and a half ago. Lots and lots of different things. Digital economy agreement. And uh, I hope it helps. So cheers from Citizen of the Future. Enjoy.